All right, what's going on? It's 4G MC Eclipse or Martin. I'm gonna tell you guys 51 things you don't want to do to your car. I'm not a mechanic in no way, shape, or form. So let's just get straight into this. The first thing you don't want to do to your car is have anime stickers. You have these anime stickers with the little girl poking out, or like her forehead. You're probably a virgin. Um, that girl is probably the only girl that goes in the backseat of your car. Um, you get no girls, honestly, if you have anime stickers. That's quite obvious, right? Leads me to number two, the anime rap. This is not too much different from the anime sticker now. Um, you're still a virgin, I know that. You still have no girlfriend. The only thing that this now tells me is that you for surely watch hentai. Number three, stickers. Tacky and cringy stickers. If that's for you, then that's for you. Not for everybody else though. Number four, you have a stupidly loud exhaust. Um. First of all, is just call it for what it is, the old classic fart can. Uh, and also, you definitely didn't get enough attention when you were a child from your mother or father. Father might have not been in the picture. Uh, so now you just look for validation from everybody else. So you got to get everybody's attention, right, when you're out and about. It is what it is. It's, it's a, more of a sad one, but, you know. A stupidly long exhaust tip. You got a long tip on your exhaust, if you're probably compensating for a long tip that you don't have back at home, you know, if you catch my drift. Besides that, though, you know, I don't like having a, feels like I have to, like, go behind you, like, an extra 10 feet because that exhaust is going to touch my front bumper. Fuck out of here with that. Number five, having a stupidly long exhaust tip. If you put a stupidly long exhaust tip on your car, you're probably compensating for not having a stupidly long tip. Man, it is what it is. The sixth thing that you don't want to do to your car is you don't want to forget to do your oil changes. Everybody should already know this, three to five thousand miles. I personally do it around every five thousand miles. Um. Yeah, you know, don't get your oil dirty as fuck in there. Make sure you change it. Also, I, I didn't put it, but off the top of my head, you know, if your car burns a lot of oil, you should know. Check your oil, you know. Make sure it has oil. This is more of a serious one. Come on. Get your oil changes. Number seven, however. A dildo shifter. We all seen a bunch of these dildo shifters. Um, Honestly... The reason why there's so many different variations of these dildo shifters is because people like to match them with the ones that they have at home. So, yeah. These are just, I don't know, they want a, they want a reminder of what they have back at home when they actually do go back home. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about these. I mean, does anybody like them for any other reason? Because they definitely don't look cool. Number eight, you don't want to get fake gauges or gauges that you don't need. Like, gauges, they're going to block a little bit of visibility. So if you don't need them, why the fuck are they there? And also, if if they're really fake, like, what, what really, what are you doing? You're wasting money. You're adding stuff to your car that you don't need. It looks tacky. Like, what? I, I'm just at a loss. I don't understand what the point is. For number nine, you don't want to slam your car too low. Like, I know everybody likes to slam their car, but whenever you can't get over a speed bump, that's where I have to draw the line. You guys literally like to handicap yourself from going to places that have speed bumps. Like, look at the picture on the left. That speed bump is tiny. Yeah, it looks like they need some, like, I don't know, some wood matte floor thing in order for it to for these cars to barely make it over and I guarantee this they'll scrape everything underneath their car while they do like 
I guess it's a show car, right? But you're also not invited to my apartment just because you wouldn't make it. Like, we have speed bumps galore. That just also piggybacks off of this. Crazy Camber for number 10. You, like, I don't know. It's, it's 2022. I know people love having Crazy Camber, but this is, like, the same thing. If you try to go over a speed bump with one of these, your whole wheel's coming off. Like, what is... I, I'm actually curious. I've never driven one of these. Like, is there a certain speed limit that you can't even drive? How much do the tires actually even last? I have so many questions. It's crazy. Like, you guys, you guys probably drive so fast. Like, so fast. For number 11, things that you don't want to do to your car have these spiky lug nuts uh honestly i don't see these too often but i just don't get the logic again behind this one so if anybody has these in the comments below on your car and i don't mean like your truck or like whatever you know i mean on a car why why this is ugly i don't see the point why you want to have fucking pointy ass shit sticking out of your car um, but please let me know. I, I'd like to know. Oh, this is a big one. You don't want to forget your blinker fluid. Ah, you do not want to forget your blinker fluid. You guys know. I know. I don't even have to say. Don't forget your blinker fluid. Okay, when you jack up your car's ride height way too much... If you want a high lifted car, if you want to lift it anything, just go get a truck, bro. Lift up your truck. And get a truck that's already lifted. Uh, this is a car. Like, drive your car. You're making your car terribly uncomfortable to drive. And you look like a dumbass, too, while you do it. But Giant wheels piggybacks off of this because usually if you have giant wheels, you also lifted that shit because it doesn't fit in your stock, like room for your wheel you know so you have to literally lift up your car so that you these new giant ass wheels fit and again it's like you're just making your car worse like the ride quality is worse those tires are probably more expensive i don't know man like i guess this was popular like with the low riders like here like i guess in the 90s ah i don't know Ugly wheels, number 15, ugly wheels, I mean, we all know that ugly is a subjective term, and here we are, and if you agree that you have ugly wheels, why? You just admit it, you have ugly wheels, and if you don't like your fucking wheels, like, well, it's not just that you don't like your wheels, like, you probably bought them because they were cheap, but don't cheap yourself out with ugly wheels, like, that is terrible. Not only is like the quality usually a lot worse than if you buy like good wheels, but come on, you look like a doofus out there. Don't do yourself like that. Don't be cheap. Don't look cheap. Number 16, buying expensive wheels on your cheap car. Okay. I was almost guilty about doing this with my Eclipse. I have a fourth generation. I thought about buying like some really nice ass forged wheels, but I really quickly thought about it and I was like, well, my car cost $2,500. I'm not spending on like over $2,000 on some wheels, which is like almost what the fucking car was worth. Like what the fuck? Don't do that. That's just the, unless you're rich, you know, then that's okay. But don't make financial decisions that are that dumb. If you can't actually afford to do it. And I wasn't. And I didn't. So. But hey. You know. If you want to be a dumbass and lose your money. Go ahead. But then again. Don't call. Just because you get these new wheels. Don't call this this new car. Quote unquote. New car. A build. Alright. It's still the same car. Number 17. Don't call wheels on your car a build. It's not. It's still just the same exact stock car with some flashier looking wheels, alright? Let's not get it twisted, alright?
you didn't even get like at least the cold air intake to get like five horsepower or something you know like you got nothing you, you, you might have gotten lighter wheels so that is a plus all right don't call it a build though number 18 don't modify your car without doing research yeah this one i am very guilty of that's me right there with that k and n air intake yup that was the first thing I did on my car. Little did I know, the forums told me that the K&N intake actually sucked compared to the other ones that were on the market for my car. So I just ended up losing. I don't even remember how much money it was, but um, I've also seen videos where people talk about it. Everybody wishes that they did more research. I wish I had done some research. So yeah, like don't go in there thinking you're going to do whatever you want to do. Do some research and find out what's best for your car. For number 19 things that you don't want to do to your car. The eBay wing slash giant wing slash ricer wing. I don't give a fuck. If it's a shitty ass looking wing. If it's too big for your car. Why are you getting it? You look like a doofus. If it's too small for your car. You look like a doofus. If it has shitty material. Doofus. If it looks like you're going to cut yourself. Because it's. Like the edges are too sharp. It's just stupid. Come on, guys. Like Number 20. Buying your parts from Home Depot. Like, you guys, I just told you guys that the eBay stuff is bad. What do you think I'm going to say about Home Depot? For number 21, things that you don't want to do to your car is... Don't turbocharge it when your car is still stock, guys. You don't want to do that. There's so many other things you have to do. Um, try doing that without any other upgraded mods to like support the turbo, and your car is not going to last. I, I promise you. <laughs> Number 22. Don't buy fake carbon fiber body parts. Not only does it look shitty... It's not real. Like, people usually can tell that it's fake if it's really, like, the one on the picture. Um, on the screen, I mean, you d just don't buy fake carbon fiber. You look like a dumbass. Number 23. Fake hood scoops. Alright, let's talk about this one. You're adding weight. Um, it looks like you're somehow making your car faster, but you're actually not. It's tacky. It's cringy. Um, what else is there to say? You slap a fucking box on top of the hood of your car, you're gonna go slower, actually. Like, I don't, I don't understand the logic. Like, is it more aerodynamic, at least? Maybe? I don't know. If it has, like, just an empty hole in there and, like, air just gets trapped in there, you're actually really making your car slower. That leads me on to number 24, though. A fake roof scoop. Not a hood scoop. The ones on the, the roof of the car. Like, first of all, like, if you're not, like, a fucking Porsche, mid, like, mid-engine car, rear-engine car, whatever, what are you doing? This looks like a fucking hat for your car. Ugly-ass shit. <laughs> Alright, number 25. A roof spoiler. You, you can't be serious, right? Like, if when I see these, I never thought, yeah, this guy did that because he thought it looked cool. He did that because he knows it looks like garbage. And I'm going to keep thinking that way because I genuinely don't believe anybody thinks these actually look cool. But if you think it actually looks cool, then hey, more power to you, right? Number 26, Lamborghini doors, my Lambo doors, man, it's still rice, like, you see the, the meme on the right, this is rice, this is not, hate to break it to you, buddy, that's still rice, that is rice as fuck, same thing with the Camaro on the left, you think, ah, it's just a nice stockish looking, no, now it looks horrible, it has fucking Lambo doors. Number 27, the tow hook slash strap 
um, the toe hook. We'll just call it the toe hook. Um, so if you have a toe hook on your stock ass looking car, most cars honestly, not even just the stock ones. If you have a tow hook, I don't believe it. I don't think you track your car. You don't take it anywhere. You probably park it at Cars and Coffee. Uh, that's about it. Just for looks. I um, don't really see the point having a red piece of metal like sticking out of your car. Not here nor there. Fake Brembo brakes. Here we go. You like to play pretend, boy? I used to play pretend when I was like, what, 5 to 10 years old? That's what you're doing, you're just playing pretend, like, it's actually kind of stupid because you're pretending that you can stop faster when you don't. It might even give you a false sense of security, thinking you could brake harder than you actually can. Oh, all, all in all, dumb idea. Don't do it. Fake car vents. Do I even have to say anything about this? Like, it's like a fake hood scoop, fake car vent, like what? Nothing's coming out of there. It's useless. You're adding weight. It's a terrible idea. It's a shitty look. Uh, I don't know what else I could say about this one. The fake badging, though. Here's where it gets interesting. Like, the only people, again, like, only people that don't look stupid is if they're doing it as a joke. But then you are the joke, which makes you look stupid. Which means you're stupid. So why the fuck are you getting a fake badge? A Chevy doesn't have a fucking M series. Like, what, what the fuck is that? <sighs> All right, number thirty-one for things you don't want to do to your car is you don't want to up badge your car. This one, like, come on, you, you bought yourself like what a Scat Pack? You put on a Demon badge or a Hellcat badge. Why, why are you doing that? Like, even if people do think that you have that car, like, you're just gonna go home, sit down in your bed, and think to yourself, Oh, everybody thinks I have a car that I don't actually have. Who's, who's the fool? Like, I just don't get it. Plus, like, what if somebody wants to race you for money because they think you have a car that's on their level? What, are you, are you gonna race them? Or are you, you gonna look like a dumbass bitch? Number 32, don't let it be a Prius. If your car is a Prius, you have brain damage. Number 33, don't overprice your car when you're selling it. Your sentimental value does not mean shit to the rest of the world. Um, The mods that you put onto your car usually will make your car less expensive because a lot of the time, believe it or not, People don't fuck with your mods. Like, you think if an average ass person wants to go buy your Honda Civic, you think they want they they want to pay you more money because it sounds like a shitty ass rice box with your like aftermarket cold air intake that you bought from eBay? Like, nah, man, come on. For number thirty four, I called it a roof rack. Although I'm not really sure what the name of this hideous thing is. Um, this just adds weight, and at least, unless you're like an avid, I don't fucking know what is it, like a canoe -er. if you actually use that roof rack, I respect it, I guess, like you actually need it, right? Most of y'all daily drive to go to the Food Max, to go to Walmart with the roof rack. Come on, man, like, at least put a fucking bicycle up there if you actually, if you actually need it, right? Rice and ass. Number 35, don't forget to wash your fucking car. This this is like something that most most of us car guys actually love to do, right? Keep your car clean, but yeah, I don't know. Make sure you clean the inside of it too, though. I've seen some ugly ass fucking food wrappers everywhere, like old ass shit. Fuck, there might even be a condom in the back seat. I don't know. But clean your car, make sure you wash it. Don't be grimy. Number 36. Don't accidentally put coolant where your oil goes. And the reason I'm being that specific and I'm just saying like, I'm not just saying fluids and whatnot, is because not too long ago, one of my buddies from work, one of my friends, 
he was gonna put antifreeze into the oil like where the oil goes because he wanted to like add some oil i was like i don't want to say five in the morning i don't blame him you know he confused it but i was i was right there next to him and i was like dude what the fuck are you doing he was he was this close so fucking close nearly ruined his whole fucking car like just pay attention all right Number 37, don't run red lights. If you do this, you're a jackass. You're risking people's lives. You're a dumbass. You're risking your own car, your own life. Number 38, the same shit. Don't run through the stop signs. You're ruining your life. Like, what is the point? The only thing that I can condone with the, re with the stop sign, because I live in Cali, if it's like, let's say, I don't know, like 2 a.m., you could slowly approach the stop sign, look left, look right, no cop, no no car, no stop, you already know. But on a normal day, normal times, fucking stop. Just stop. Like, come on. Don't put other people's lives at risk like that. Number 39, I am going to piggyback off of what I was previously saying. Just keep... All your fluids maintained. I'm not saying don't make sure. Okay, first off, make sure that like the oil goes where the oil goes, right? The coolant goes where the coolant goes. Once you ma make sure you know where each fluid goes, make sure you maintain it, right? Like same thing goes with other stuff, though. You know, like just maintain your car, make sure everything's up to. Like you don't have to check it every single fucking day. You know, like do your research you, you should be able to find like how often you look at like a timing belt or a timing chain your battery like this is all stuff on google there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to take care of your car if you actually like it or actually need it number 40 don't procrastinate on getting your mods done that's me that's you that's all of us like uh I've been wanting to do a lot of stuff to my car for like four years. I've only done like two things in those four years. Uh, still got a few more things I want to do, right? Ha! <laughs> uh, yeah, stop procrastinating. I'll, I'll try to stop too. Number 41, don't stomp on the throttle right after you warm up your car, like when your car is still cold. What you really have to do, like just what I like to do is wait like five minutes or less to let the car fully warm up. And when I start driving it, I don't just stomp on it right away. The reason I don't do it is because a long time ago, when I first got my car, I did exactly that, you know, because when you, when it's a cold startup, the car sounds hecka mean and cold and like louder. I was like, oh, all right. Since it sounds like this when it's cold, what if I step on it, like, when it's still cold? I swear to God, I did that shit, and, like, the power cut off on my car. Like, it revved to, like, 5,000, and then cut. Like, the power just cut off on me. Like, it jerked forward. I let go of the the gas, and I was like, what? I thought I broke my car. Nothing happened, though. I don't know what the hell that was. That's the only time I ever did that. I'm never doing it again. I'm going to let my car fully warm up. So, yeah. Don't do that. Number 42. Don't drive like a grandma. Driving like a grandma is not safe. You can argue that it's even less safe than going like fast. Arguably. An example. When you're merging onto the freeway, how annoying and deadly is it when there's a grandma driver right in front of you when you guys are both merging into fucking traffic that's going 65 or more? And she's going, he's going, forty. Like, what? What's gonna happen? What? 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 What are we doing here, Grandma? Are we trying to die? Number forty-three. Don't drive on bald tires. Now, let me explain to you guys. These aren't slips. All right, you don't have more grip because that's not how they work. That's like different materials that are used on slicks. All right, so your bald ass tires are just bald and. It's risky all right like do you want to explode your tire you want that to happen like get some new tires man come on
But if you do buy drag slicks, don't put them on your stock car and then think you're a badass. Not only is that giant tire making your car get more weight, meaning it's actually slower. Um, oh, actually, yeah, that is what it means, right? But you're also wasting money. So, you're slower than the stock car, but you look like you're quicker than the stock car. I, I just, it's counterintuitive, I feel like. Number 45, the steering wheel covers. We've all seen these shitty ass wheel covers. Mainly, this is mainly like a, a woman problem, I would say, or like a college girl. Um, I feel like you could lose your grip off of these though. I feel, I never actually tried one of them, but I, I just don't see how holding on to some plasticiness that's wrapped over your covers is somehow better than just grabbing the actual wheel, right? I, got, I mean, I guess it's a tacky design if you want to be t tacky, ugly, stand out. Yeah. yeah, rice. Number 46. Don't drive like daily drive around with your spare tire. Now, I know you're thinking, what kind of idiot does that? Why is this even on the list? Well, it's on the list because I've seen it, alright? I've seen it. Um, In Oakland, it's common. All right, so don't do this. I understand that. You probably can't afford a new tire. You might have to go steal one, man. What can I tell you? Just don't drive around on the spare. Number 47 is that you don't want to do to your car is you don't want to hoon in the police hot spots around your local area. I know my area. I know where the cops like to usually hang around. Like I know there's certain streets, certain blocks that it's a little more heavy for, with cops, so you don't really want to do stuff, right? And I'm sure that goes for every city. So you guys should, like, find out, like, hey, is there going to be a lot of cops around this area? There is? Yeah, let's go. Let's go around over here instead, right? Just, you don't want to get your car taken, right? Number 48. Don't use the shoulder lane to try to overtake cars. You're going to fucking die or kill somebody or... Get a ticket, which is like the best case scenario, but it's not a good one, is it? Number 49, don't leave your car unlocked. We're not in the 1950s, we're in 2022. You leave your car unlocked. Best believe that Billy Bob Joe from the store is going to steal that shit in like two seconds. I've seen this countless times. Someone parks their car right in front of the liquor store. Because they're just going to go in and out, grab some cigarettes, probably. They literally go in there. Two seconds later, someone's in their car driving off. They're, like, running out the store. Get out of my car! And then that car proceeds to crash because now they're nervous. And then that guy go jumps out the car and runs away. True story. Don't do that to yourself. Number 50. For things you don't want to do to your car. Don't use an automatic car wash unless you want your paint to be scratched up over time. I don't personally recommend it because not every car wash, like, I just don't, I don't understand it. Like, how is that car wash gonna clean, like, a giant-ass SUV the same way that it cleans, like, a small-ass BRZ? I feel like the pressure, I don't know, like, it's all different, like. Either both of them are going to get scratched up, but I just feel like you should want to take care of your car. Don't get it all scratched up. Wash your own car. But that just leads me on to number 51, and that is honestly, don't care what anybody tells you. Like, don't listen to all the hate. Do what you want if you love it. Um, You know, at the end of the day, it's your car. If you truly want something for it, go out and get it. Don't listen to me. If if I say something that you have that you love, don't care. Like, I I'm not gonna I'm not your dad. You know, like I'm not I'm not there to roast you twenty four seven. Like, you do what you like. I do what I like. You might not like the stuff I like, and that's okay. You know, because at the end of the day, I'm gonna drive my eyesore. You're gonna drive your eyesore, and to me. My car isn't an eyesore, 
same to you, right? Like, your car isn't an eyesore to you, and that's all that should matter. But with that, that was 51 things that you shouldn't do to your car. Hope you guys liked it. This is like first video I'm putting out this type of energy, this effort for. So if you really liked it and you're still here, thank you. Um, like the video and comment down below. What else can I say?